By default, SwiftUI provides voiceover readouts for all its controls, and these are usually very good, but sometimes it's not exactly what you need. In these situations, you can provide a different modifier called Accessibility Value that separates a label for the view from the value it holds right now. We can also attach adjustable swipe actions to the view to control the way it's modified. For example, we might build a view that shows some kind of input on the screen controlled by various buttons. So we might say first, we have some local state store value. I'll do at state private var value is 10. And then our body, I'll make a V stack with the text of the current value inside, uh, like so, there we go. And then a button saying increment, which will do value plus equals one, and then button decrement, which will say value minus equals to one. So the 10 by default, it shows the value and it adds one or subtracts one when the button's depressed. And that's gonna work the way you expect when you have tap interactions for sighted users. But it's not a great experience with voiceover because all users will hear is increment, 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 or decrement, decrement, decrement. It won't say what the value is right now. And so to fix this, we've got to give iOS specific instructions for how to handle this value adjustment. This means grouping our whole VStack together using accessibility element, adding a custom label, and then a value, and then an adjustable action to control the way it's uh, adjusted on the screen. And so, when we make our action, it'll say, hey, the swiping up the way or down the way, what do you want to do? How do you want to adjust the control? What does that mean for you? And there is one proviso, which is that, yes, we can choose increment, or we can choose decrement for up and down, but we also have a special case for unknown future values. Apple has reserved the right to add other kinds of adjustments in the future. And so, in our code, I'm gonna say the current code's fine, but I'll also add an accessibility element modifier, make it all grouped together, ignoring the children. Then add the label of value, this thing we're working with. Then add an accessibility value. What's the actual value inside this control right now, which for us is this number right here. This has to be some kind of text, so I'll say you are a string of the value, like so. And then when it comes to adjusting this thing, I'm gonna add a hell dogs, an accessibility adjustable action modifier like this. And it's gonna tell us which direction they've gone into. You're hungry, aren't you? Which direction they've gone into. So I'll say direction in here. Have they swiped upwards or downwards or that unknown future value? And we'll decide. So we'll say here in our code, if we are, uh, I'll get the action here, so I'll do switch direction, like so. It'll fill in those two options for us. Uh, I'll say, well, if it's increment, we'll do value plus equals, hello, hungry dogs, one. Just like before, if press increment, go ahead and add one to it now. If it's decrement, I'll say value minus equals one. And you can see already, this thing here is telling you, oh, by the way, that it may have additional unknown values in future versions, that Apple has reserved the right to add more in the future. And so we've got to handle a default case, to say, if this happens, if it's something you don't expect, it's not up or down, but something else, handle it specially. So I'll say here, we have a default thing here of just not handled, like that. It's down to you how to handle that, of course, but I'm gonna just do not handled. And so, with these changes, the user will be able to select the whole VSAC in one lump. And it'll simply say value 10 by default. Once it's selected, then they're in adjustment mode. They can swipe up or down in voiceover to add one or subtract one, or of course, who knows what in the future as well. And IS will read the value out each time. So it'll say value 10, swipe 11, swipe 12, swipe 13. It's much more natural and useful for users.